What's up, guys? This is Driftwood Guitars. My name is Matt. It's Chris behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks, dude. Um, all right, this is Matt Builds an Amp. This is the series where we take someone who has uh, literally no experience building amps, um, very little experience actually building guitars either. That's really more Chris's front. But uh, Stu Mag was generous enough to give us this amp kit, and in the spirit of us trying to learn as much as we can about electric guitars that we are about to start manufacturing, or sorry, not start, we are manufacturing now. Um, they gave us this, and it's kind of part of my continuing education, so you guys get to be along for the process and watch me mess it up mostly but um yeah uh we want to thank Stu mac as always for giving us this amp kit that was very generous of them in the last episode you saw me sit down and very tediously go through the process of checking to make sure all of our components work today we're gonna install some let's see we are going to put some transformers on this chassis we're gonna put some tube sockets on here so it's actually gonna start looking more like an amp chassis which is pretty exciting before we get too far into this, though, I do want to take a moment to bring in a special guest. Um, if you guys were playing along last time, try to come up with a name for this dude now. Uh, I think we wound up with um, Sucky McSuckface. <laughs> <laughs> Feels apropos. So, like thank you, thank you, everyone, with your suggestions. Um, Thanks for everyone, by the way, that was telling me I was drinking Guinness wrong. Like, I actually, I did know that. I, I play fiddle in, um, in, a, in a Celtic band, so uh, it, was, it was what was cold and it was what was in the fridge. And um, yeah, uh, I think the best beer is usually the one that's coldest and close at hand. So, but thank you guys for keeping me honest on that one. So, all right, um, I think we're just gonna get into this now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to install this power transformer. It was funny, I was looking through the box and I thought I found the power transformer, but it didn't look exactly the same. And no, it's this big unit of a, of a hunk of metal right here um, that needs a haircut. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm loving this. So I've taken the liberty already. I, there've been some steps I did before we started rolling. I put some grommets in, this is just like not the, the super not exciting stuff. So I think what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna get uh, some, uh I'm gonna get some wrenches, some pliers out, and we're gonna go ahead and mount this thing and start uh, moving the wiring around. So. Okay, so last episode, you might remember, I mentioned that I'm colorblind and it's already rearing its ugly head. Um, I was actually, I was twisting some wires here to kind of get them prepped. And I was looking at this thing, I was like, Chris, is, is there something I'm missing here? Like, tell me, it looks like there are, there's more than one black wire. This has to be a mistake. He said, no, there's a black and a red wire. And I said, ah, oh, cool, 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 cool. So this <laughs> well, is already- in my defense, is black and dark red. It's really hard to see. So. Yeah, yeah, but those, those again, those are a couple colors that I struggle with. So I'm gonna take a pair of these Nipex pliers here, and uh, we're gonna take these screws off this transformer, and we're gonna mount this on the underside of our chassis here, and feed these wires up through it. So here we go. So this is going on the underside of my chassis here, right? Um, you can already see here's the aforementioned grommets I put in earlier. Um, we're basically just prepping all of this to get ready for um, these transformers are going in and these tube sockets. So I'm gonna feed this through here and drop this in. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. So off camera, Chris showed me, he's got a screwdriver for this. We'll socket screwdriver. So the right tool for the job is everything. My dad's always told me that. I think you guys will probably agree yeah, out there in YouTube land. You may have noticed that I have a little bit of an addiction to tools. A little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone someone commented saying like, oh, yeah, you have so many nice tools. You're like, you know, this is like the, the what do they call you? The 1% of the Luthiers? One <laughs> yeah, the 1% of Luthiers. Um, I personally say that he hasn't always had this many. It's been a steady collection over the years. But I think Chris's comment was the one that slayed me was it was, uh, please don't tell my wife. <laughs> please don't tell my wife. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that's true for for most guys in shops. Yeah, so, yeah. all right. So we got the main uh, power transformer in here. Looks like, uh, like I said, I've already gone through and um, twisted. I found the appropriate wires. We live here in the United States, so um, I'm going to be wiring this for uh, 120 volt, which is the aforementioned black and white wire. Um, eventually, I was reading uh, here, we're gonna have to terminate some of these other leads, but we'll do that in a later step, so that's future Matt's problem. <laughs> Tell him what you did, Matt. All right, so 10 minutes into this, and I already found out a place. I was using the, the nuts that were already on the power transformer, and that did not, feel intuitively right. You guys ever work on something and you're like, hmm, this 
this this doesn't smell smell too good. So yeah, um, I was using the nuts that were already on the transformer, but I think those are actually supposed to stay on the transformer and uh, kind of serve as what do you call them? Standoffs, I think. Is standoffs. The, yeah. Yeah. And standoffs. They're actually supposed to use the yeah. Here. So we got it, and that that seems much more right. We got a good lock nut on there. Um, I feel a lot better about that. You know what? Pretty sure, sort of like uh, driving down the road and your muffler falls off, I don't think you want your power uh, transformer, your main transformer, in your amp falling off <laughs> in the middle of the gig. Call it a hunch. Hey, you know what? What? That's nuts. Jesus. <laughs> 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 nice locking nuts going on now. It's already learning stuff. Already learning. Um, yeah, so now I've got to mount two three lug grounding strips on either side here, and um, that I believe is going to be it's going to be these bad boys right here. So yeah, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of light soldering on this, so that'll be fun. What do you yeah. think, Matt? Tell us a little bit about your soldering experience. I think well, I need a lot more of it. That's for one thing. Um, yeah. Also, um, so I am learning about tinning stuff beforehand. Obviously, that's kind of a big part of it. I'm also um, learning all the proper, like, you know, the basics of soldering that people talk about, but I'm finally actually getting to do it. Uh, everything that matters the most in soldering is really making sure that you have a good way of holding it. And also make sure the connection between the wires and the points that you're soldering is good beforehand. And then, you know, the soldering. The soldering, basically, it shouldn't be glue. You're just reinforcing the connection that's already there. So I think we've got that here. Um, this is the ground. So I'm going to let this cool for half a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the chassis. And I think this other lug that's here, um, we've got two lugs. One that's going to be grounded and one that's just going to sit up and kind of do its thing. So, yeah, I think we're going to install those. And then we'll move right along. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So, got this grounding strip soldered up. Let's see it. Ta-da. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um, I checked it for connectivity. Like, it's, uh, the solders are good. They're not pretty, but they're good. Um, like me. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, I'm going to install these uh, on the power transformer, and then, yeah, we'll move on to the next step. So, you get to pull the, the you get to pull the nut off again. Again, yeah, for the, you know, uh, Chris, he works on guitars, and he makes this all look easy because he's done this uh, for years. This is my first time building an amp, so you to see all the frustrating parts of it. Yeah. For those of you this following is the sausage. Home, do the nuts last. Yeah. <laughs> this, is the, uh, this is the sausage being made right here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right. That is in there. Like butt hair. Like butt hair swimwear. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna mount the uh, output transformer, which funny, whenever I first pulled this out, I thought this might be the power transformer. Definitely not though. So yeah, we're gonna mount this bad boy on here. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll get right to that. So I gotta do a little bit of prep. I, I see I need to um, do a little bit of like cable management stuff here and twisting these wires together. So whenever we come back, you'll see it, it'll look a lot nice and neater and prettier. Uh, I'm gonna braid it, maybe put it in ponytails. Yeah, know. French braid. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. So, anyways, stay tuned. All right, so a little bit of cable management here. Got these twists together, so it just keeps things nice and neat and tidy. Um, I found the place where this needs to go on the board. <clears throat> I found where this needs to come through. So, yeah, we're just going to mount this with some locking nuts. As you can see, it's very stylish. It's very... Uh, very nice. Yeah. Little pigtails. Yeah, like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah, I'm just going to mount this bad boy up, and we are in business. So yeah, it's gonna pop through there. And this is gonna pop through here. Nice, nice, nice. I'll leave myself a little bit of room down here, but I'm trying to keep an eye on where this transformer is eventually gonna wind up so that I can know that I have enough slack to. So I need to flip this over. Gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. There we go. Okay. It's always fun working blind on something underneath it. Yeah. It's like righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which way am I facing though? Yeah. See, who would have thought you'd be 31 and still playing with Transformers? <laughs> <laughs> it's more than meets the eye. 
All right, cool. So that is in there. So sweet, awesome. So we'll pull this slack through. Not super tight, I'm guessing, because they are wires, but at least leave ourselves enough uh, enough to work with in here. And yeah, we're good there. All right. Sweet. Cool. So that's good. So um, yeah. Uh, next up is we're going to mount the uh, reverb driver, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so here we have a reverb driver. You can tell it is because that's the way it is. Because <laughs> the way it is, exactly. Um, same deal, this is going to mount on the other side, and I'm going to um, thread a couple screws through this. Basically, if you've ever changed a tire before, it's nothing like that. <laughs> and. Once this gets all squared away, I'm gonna thread some of these wires through our nice grommet. And then pull all these through. And we're on to the next step, man. Uh, I was doing the math in my head, and I think by the time I'm done with this, including, I've taken some other, some of the other steps that are going on in this, I've done them kind of off camera, so. Um, but we'll be on step 25 out of 169 after all this, so you know, nice. moving right along, yeah. Thread this through. Same kind of deal, I'm gonna pull these snug, but not too tight. And um, yeah, next thing, we gotta mount the filter choke. I'm guessing by process of elimination, that's this last dude here. So we're gonna do that now. So this is the last of our kind of toaster looking um, uh, uh, transformer-ish kind of things we're gonna put on here. Kind of does look like a toaster, doesn't it? All right. I know. So, so this is gonna fit right here on our uh, on our chassis. We'll get this tightened in, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right. So we got the filter choke. Yeah, the filter choke right here. Um, yeah. Cool. Just double check and make sure I got all my wires right. Um, fed it through all this other good stuff. The last thing we really need to do is um, we just need to install these jacks, and um, we've got to install a couple tube sockets in. Um, it, it mostly is pretty straightforward. We're just mounting them in here, um, putting bolts on them. So I'm gonna do all those steps real quick. Just toss them in, and um, yeah, we'll we'll recap and see what all we've gotten done today, and uh, and check in. And we'll see just how far along we are in our progress. So far, I haven't been working too terribly long, and I'm already pretty well chucked into this. So yeah, all right. So w whenever we come right back, we'll see you with a, a much uh, more finished looking chassis. So this is starting to look a lot more like a chassis now. So we had all sorts of components in here, all sorts of wiring going on, a lot happening. Um, I've got some other things I'll finish up off camera just because they're not super exciting. We're installing basically all the guts in here before we get to um, the board's gonna sit um, inside here and um, eventually this is all gonna be connected and I'm pretty excited for that. But I was kind of doing the math a little bit. I think uh, after this, I am 15% of the way there. So yeah, check that out. <laughs> Math, right? Yeah. So um, in the next video, it looks like I've got um, I've got some soldering to do across these. Uh, it looks like we're gonna start grounding all these back pots here, and um, yeah, we're gonna start adding some resistors to some stuff. So we're starting to get into the nitty gritty of this now. I would say so far, I think the main thing that I found out is attention to detail is everything, just like any complicated build on this. But I've been going back and double and triple checking my work. I've already found a couple of mistakes I made, um, just real stupid installation things. That's kind of on my end. I um, also found out that small parts and uh, long fingers don't do great in cramped spaces together. So we're finding yeah. workarounds for that. Um, yeah. It's yeah. weird that it took this for you to realize you're kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We, we knew this going into it. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah. I would just say uh, thoughts so far. I'm actually, I'm still really enjoying this. This has been a lot of fun. Um, still learning a lot and um, yeah, getting to, getting to hang out, getting to do a little bit of soldering already. So um, anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, stay tuned for more progress on this as we keep chugging along on this. Um, we want to thank, uh, we want to thank Stumac for, again, for uh, supplying us with this uh, kit. 
Um, we also want to say um, thank you to everyone that's bought a t-shirt. We appreciate that. Um, if you guys happen to think about it, um, we just put up a link for Patreon. Um, if you guys uh, are enjoying what we're doing, that's a nice way of showing appreciation. And as Chris said in another video, it helps grease the wheels around here. And um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.